11th. Here we are, City Hall. Climate change is real. We have to start understanding that climate change is real. Right now, ladies and gentlemen, we have a government in power in Ottawa that doesn't even believe that climate change is real. And issue number two, environmentalism is social justice. The two are interchangeable. We know, we know that when the climate changes, it affects the world's most vulnerable populations, the poor, the sick, the young, the old. We know this. Our addiction to fossil fuels, our disregard for deforestation has brought this climate crisis, in addition to a lot of other things, but that is, has been crucial to us. Um, we need to know how to get us out of this way. I believe that Elizabeth and the Green Party of Canada, which also cooperates with the Global Charter of Greens across the world, I'm sure all of you here today have heard wonderful stories about what other places in the world are doing. If our city councillors and our elected <laughs> officials and provincially and federally don't know what a sustainable city looks like by now, then they shouldn't be in Parliament. Here, and we here. shouldn't be voting for them. Democracy has ceased to exist in all the major powers of the world, including Canada. We have oligarchies all over the world, Russia, China, the United States, Canada. All the major powers are oligarchies. That means they are run by people who have piles of money and who actually own the governments and tell them what to do. They make their money out of oil. Oil is a huge killer, not just for what it does to us, but for the killing that we do so that a few people can have control of it. What we have become is a world we were warned about way back in 1948 when George Orwell wrote 1984. And you could see it coming in 1984. We can't change all of that. We can change it here. We can start with this city hall. This city hall has a role to play in having some kind of plan, some kind of policy, with dealing with the destruction of the environment within the city. Well, thank you. I'd like to start by thanking the Council of Canadians Moncton chapter for organizing this event here today. So climate change is the most urgent social and environmental issue of our times. The science is clear and has been clear for a long time that the planet is getting warmer. When public policy doesn't work for the citizens it's supposed to serve, people only have one more option and that is to protest, that is to stand up, that is to try and influence public policy and the only way you can do that is by influencing public opinion and that's what we're doing here today. There are solutions to climate change. Time has not run out. We just need leaders at all levels, municipal, federal, provincial, with the courage to act and conviction to do the right thing for the earth and all the people that live on it. Thank you. And one of our biggest problems is that we're living in a very capitalistic society where for some bizarre reason everybody thinks that tra everything has to have a cost and everything has to have a value uh, in money terms. As a result, what we end up is a transit system where it is supposed to make a cash profit. A cash profit doesn't make any sense because they're not taking the full accounting. The uh, Having a decent uh, public transit system means that we can keep cars off the roads. If you keep cars out of the city, we can use that land that's used for parking spaces, then becomes land that can be used for apartment buildings where people can live. To give an example, Sydney, Australia, the downtown part of Sydney, Australia has bus service that's free. 
Absolutely. You can walk on, you walk off. No cost whatsoever. And they've looked at it figuring by doing that, we keep cars out of the city, we save money other ways. Uh, the idea here, if you look at Main Street here, for some bizarre reason, they decided that we were going to have cars going up and down because people wanted to be able to stop and go into stores. I don't know how many times you've been able to actually stop on Main Street to go into a store. Really depressing stat the other day, 1974, 97% of what was consumed in New Brunswick was produced in New Brunswick. Today, 3%. Within three days of the zombie apocalypse, there will be no food on the shelves of Superstore and Sobeys in, in our province. So we need to change this around. And I think this is an amazing opportunity for our province when it comes to agriculture. It, I think they're great opportunities. So I have um, got staff here at City Hall. This is where I work. This is where I am. I am always open to listening to great ideas. But I, food security is a very big passion of mine, and we do have a food charter coming. We're going to have it ready in the next couple of months. So those are just some things that we're working on. But I'm all ears. Honestly, if you have great ideas, don't ever hesitate to contact me because that's how we affect people. Thank you very much. Merci beaucoup pour tous qui sont venus. J'apprécie ça beaucoup. Puis uh, à la prochaine. Travaillons. That's right. This is what democracy looks like. This is what democracy looks like.